welcome to my channel. My name is Darnell and I'm with Shoemaker Art and today I'm going to do a dirty pour over this tumbler. So we're going to fill the cup and what's left over I'm going to dip a canvas there. So I have this stand here. It's just a piece of PVC pipe and it is there's a hole cut in to this wood base that you can use a empty spray bottle can or whatever your uh, tumbler will fit over. All right so I'm going to start filling my cup. Remember, first thing in is the last thing out. And I think that I would like to have this deep violet. Okay, I'm gonna do a little white. And actually, that's pretty thin. I wanna get my, have a heavier weight. Probably alternate back and forth between those. Um, electric plum purple. swap this out. Let's use this Liquitex Brilliant Purple instead. Yeah, I like that color a little better. Set this aside and go ahead and get our face out. Okay, the first thing I want to do is put a little bit of white down so that my paint flows. Okay, I just put a few more colors into the cup and I'm going to pour it over it. I didn't love the first one. That's the beauty of this. You can just... And then you can also just drizzle it down the side if you're not happy with the way your pour is going. Did this before on a vase and loved how it came out. In between the colors, you can see where the dirty pour was. And like, this is all gonna change. It, it, this thing. Okay, I'm gonna move this aside. I will show it to you after it's all dry. And down here it looks like <laughs> a mess, but go get a canvas. I'm gonna run a little bit of white around the edges. This is six by six, it's gallery wrapped. All right, let's see what we get. That's so pretty. Oh wow. I love it. Oh. Well, my other camera just shut off, so apparently I didn't hit record. So hopefully you can see that with this camera. I'm trying to see. There's what I just did. Okay, so this is what it looks like dry. It's beautiful. And you still have the pattern of where you did the dirty pour in between the lines that um, I added to the top to run down. 
I love how it like came this. out. And then I have a deco foil adhesive pen. I've just primed it, letting the glue run down to the tip. I wish I had a finer finer point, but I think this is gonna be okay. And then I've got foil sheet. Oops. Alright, so let's get started. It says to put it on and then you're supposed to let it set for a minute. Okay, so we're gonna start putting some on this side over here. It's been a few minutes. I've not done this before, so let's see. We're gonna learn together here. Oh, need to be staying on there. So the next step I did was to take my tumbler and scuff up the silver foil. And I kind of wanted like an aged look. Guys, I had to take this outside because when I was scuffing it up, that foil was coming off in little pieces and it was just going everywhere. So just a heads up with that. So after I got the look that I wanted, I did spray this with sealant, uh, two times gloss spray. So next up is a coat of resin. So the next thing I want to do is cut these flowers out of this vinyl sheet. I got this from the glitter guy. It's called um, All the Flowers Translucent and it's a beautiful pattern and I thought that these flowers would look good on the cup. That looks amazing. So I'm going to cut the rest of the blue ones out and make a few pink ones. And I found this on Cricut and it says Faith and I thought that would look good on the cup. So I'll get these uh, flowers cut out and then I'll start putting all of this on the cup. All right, so now I'm gonna start putting on the flowers. And they are translucent, so you can see through them. 